What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a new streaming software that works on Mac, but the downside is it's only for Twitch. So if you have Twitch, you can stream on Twitch, but if you're streaming on YouTube, this will not work for you. Sorry for that. So if your machine, MacBook or iMac can't run Streamlabs or OBS well and it's killing your CPUs, usage on a MacBook or iMac, but this alternated app works and it's called Twitch Studio Beta. And I'm going to walk you through how to get started and how to get everything set up. What you want to do first? Go to Google, type in Google, you're gonna type in Twitch Studio Beta for Mac. So it's gonna be the second one or wherever it says download Twitch Studio. This is the app, Twitch Studio Beta. So if you stream on Twitch, you can use this. Oh, this is only working on Mac OS Mojave 10.14 or newer. So you have Catalina, yes, it works too. And you can run the Elgato software in the background. So this is the whole thing, getting everything started, it's how you do it. So what you wanna do is right here at the top, you're gonna click on download now, step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to do everything, how to set up everything, it works. You know, it's Alternative. You're gonna come down there and you're gonna hit open. Go on, it's gonna pop up this right here. Okay, so this will pop up. When you get this, you're gonna take Twitch Studio, you're gonna click and drag, drag it to your applications folder. Once you drag it to your applications folder, you can close that. Go to launch pad on your pages, Twitch Studio at the bottom. First, you, before you do that, click on Game Capture HD. Open your Elgato software. You can have this running in the background. This does work. Tested it out. So you'll see there's my Elgato software working already. Go back to launch pad, Twitch Studio. Now I see a uh, pop up says verify. It lets you know, just hit open because you downloaded something from the web. That's all it means. Now, all you need to do is sign into your Twitch account, your Twitch studio, and you're signed all in. Now, what you want to do is say, welcome to Twitch, you know, getting everything. Don't hit skip. You're going get, to get started. You can set up your microphone. So if you don't have an external microphone, just use your, mic, uh, your MacBook, but you can click on change mic and you can pick your designated microphone that you want to use. I'm going to use the HyperX Quadcast. Personalize it too. So you're going to test everything. So with me, I'm going to remove this, this, and add that. So you do yours to your preferences. Mine's set up just right. You can listen to your mic. So if you testing your audio you'll see in the background where it says testing your hot hardware it's letting you it's just testing your hardware what your mac or imac can run at click done now you continue to your webcam mindset to my logitech pro webcam but if you don't have one just you can use your macbook or imac webcam these arrows right here go for like if you want to change the color background everything how you want it to me just leave it at default because you know that's what that's what's best continue to layout okay now here are the layout so this is what you'll see when people when people come to your stream they'll just see this you can change all this click on continue to settings but you got to be able to run you got to have a strong internet to have your bitrate be able to run 6,000 bitrate so this is what you're, you'll get on your main startup so now here's the startup screen you get everything started so up here right here at the top is where how you change your title your description add your tags and everything else you got your activity feed when people follow you all that stuff you know follow you send bits donations that all pop up right here so if you want to follow me on twitch creating tv link will be down in the description go ahead and follow me you got your chat sent right here all Line, you know, edit layout. This is what you see first. You got your be right back screen, just chatting if you want to chat to people. Now, if you want to add other layers, you're like your live scene and everything, click this little plus icon where it says add layout. Now, you can re rename it, edit it, whatever live scene. Yours doesn't have to be like this. I'm just giving it for an example. Click out. I'm down here to the bottom where it says edit layout. So, on the edit layout screen, you're going to see first you're going to add screen share. So, where you find that from is come over here to where it says uh, full screen application change. You click on change now you come down here and it says what window you have open and the game capture hd you want it to only capture that window you don't want really other things to be running in the background take off capture cursor cursor because that it does get annoying what i did is i went up here typed in 1920 or 1080 you know just stretch it out so you get the full screen basically now you got your full layout and everything else next if you want to add your webcam come back up here to layers with the little plus icon you know you can got your webcam you can size it up how you want to you can add a border and now now you got it and it's working down there at the bottom you can still see your chat so if you want to go this is just your live scene when you're streaming you know getting everything else everything else is in real time if you don't believe me i can show you there you go so you also want to add more things to that layout click on the plus sign again you can add text image solid color twitch alerts there's your types you get to all, all the stuff the color for the follow the host the race descriptions cheers so forth and so forth just know if i wanted to add an image i'll show you real quick i'll add my um right here it says browse image and if I want to add I can add this in there 
Now you select it wherever you want, you know, and then place it wherever you need to. You can put it right here. Like if you really want to go in, you can you can go in on. Make sure everything that you do, you lock it so it doesn't move. Once once you finish with everything, hit save, start stream, record video, all from this app, which is good. So this is all works if you on a Mac or iMac. If you can't run OBS or Slob, you can use Twitch Studio Beta. If you have Twitch, it's gonna it's still in beta, but hey, it still gets the job done and it works. You no know, nice nice alternative stream setup. You know, yeah, as you guys do see, it is working and you get everything else. But if you did like this tutorial and you want to learn more about this Twitch Studio Beta for Mac or iMac, here's another alternative alternative that you can use for Mac or iMac running um, if you want to stream, but you have to use Twitch. There's four things out there. There's OBS, Streamlabs OBS. Now there's Twitch Studio Beta and there's the Elgato HD software. But if you did enjoy this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new. More tutorials is coming out. If you want to see more things about this Twitch Studio Beta, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if I was able to help you out. Hope you did enjoy this video. God bless everybody. This is your boy Brandon coming to you from Crane TV. I'm signing out.